hands look pretty friggin' red now, guys. Anyways, getting back to the off-grid setup that I'm talking about. They now have mini splits, aka heat pumps, that can run be can be run directly off solar panels without batteries, without an inverter. That is my new plan for the off-grid tiny house. Um, you can do a string of three to four or more in series, connect them directly to your mini split, and as long as there's enough sun out hitting your panels, you will have free air conditioning or free heat. Now the heat part in here in Canada is suspect because they only work down to a certain temperature, like minus 20, minus 25, something like that. But you, with the weather we have today, you could get away with free heat. So that is a great option because that'll eliminate me having a super large solar setup just to do an air conditioner. And that's where most of your power would go. That'd be one of your biggest loads. So that's great. So I could buy a string of four bifacial LG panels, throw them in series, wire them directly into this mini split and have unlimited free air conditioning, free heat, as long as I'm getting enough sun. So daytime hours, right? <clears throat> at night time you have to just deal with it with fans and such it is what it is now I'm gonna have to pause the camera we got somebody up to so back to the off-grid talk here guys for my plans my setup so air conditioning and a little bit of heat is covered with this new setup now there's all kinds of different brands that allow you to wire in direct it's I'm gonna definitely look into that probably going to be around three grand or so for just the unit and the head and all that stuff but then you got to add on four strings of um, or one string of four bifacial LG panels that gives you at least um, 100 volts DC um, which is pretty crazy that they've come so efficient because they use a DC compressor. They've get they're getting stuff down to a science now, so they're making it where it's very doable. So that's one situation covered. Now I'd also if the rad system with the electric, but what I'm thinking for the electric hot water tank is just a 120 volt uh, model. Um, either a 20 gallon or a 40 gallon tank if they even make a, that in 120 volts I think only the 20 gallon would be 120 volts myself so might be stuck with that but the nice thing about that is you're gonna be making it efficient by the way you're gonna use it you're not using it as um, something to heat water for your bathing and stuff you're gonna use it to move heat around oh hold on all right we're back guys had to make a quick bathroom break <laughs> TML I know or TMI <laughs> TML <laughs> um, uh, anyways getting back to the off-grid uh, solar talk here um, so mini split air conditioning is now doable with a four string minimum of LG bifacial panels. That's covered. Um, I went over the insurance not having any. Um, as long as I spend the money up front to basically fireproof the room as best as I can to mitigate any future surprises and um, getting back to the um, the electric uh, rad system now obviously if I have a wood stove 
or a barrel stove, um, same thing. Um, that will easily heat the place, no issues. But as a backup, electrical backup, via run, run off of solar, I think that would be a good option in case you run out of firewood or you're sickly and you can't cut firewood or whatever. Some reason you can't get up to maintain the barrel stove. You want to have some comfortable heat. I'll be back in a minute.